All right, what is a shift graph? When n is at least 2, the shift graph has cn2, combinations of n taken 2, or n choose 2. It has n choose 2 vertices, and these vertices are the two element subsets of 1 up to n. All right, so this is where you have to begin to stretch your mind. Normally, we say vertex 1, vertex 2, vertex 3, vertex 3, up to vertex n. All of our pictures have looked like that. Now it's a little different. You have a vertex which looks like that. That's one vertex. You say, that's an edge. No, no, no. I get to say what vertices are. And you do when you're in charge. You want a vertex to be San Francisco? Go ahead. Go for it. No problem. Okay. A vertex is a two-element subset, an I and a J. Now, what are the edges? When is one of these guys adjacent to another one? And here's the answer. It is when you have I less than J less than K. So this vertex is adjacent to that vertex. Again, I to J is adjacent to J to K. It doesn't matter about the, the spacing. I to J, J to K. Or I to J and, and J to K. doesn't matter. But watch this. I to J is not adjacent to this guy. You only do it in order. This to this that. Those things are called shifts graph. All right, we're going to explain why the chromatic number of the shift graph grows, and it grows like the base 2 logarithm of n. Because the theorem is going to be that for every n at least 2, the chromatic number of the shift graph Sn is exactly, not approximately, it's exactly the least positive integer t. So the 2 to the t is greater than or equal to n. And if you solve in that, what that says is t is exactly the base 2 logarithm of n round up. Exactly. Take the base 2 logarithm of n and round up. But the explanation is a little cleaner when I write it in this exponential form. All right, now, to see that we're talking about triangle-free graphs, let's explain why there are no triangles in a shift graph. If you have a triangle, an x, a y, and a z, you have x and you have y. Where are you going to put z? that's going to make z adjacent to both x and y. It's clear. There are no triangles in a shift graph. 